Hey, future weapon enthusiast, Nick Young here, CEO of Desert Tech. I'm excited to share with you this DMR MDRX rifle that we developed for a Saudi contract opportunity. Uh, the opportunity occurred just prior to COVID and we, we went through the trials with this rifle as well as our SRS and our HTI rifles. And for those of you that don't know, uh, Saudi Arabia already uses some of our SRS and HTI rifles in some of their services. And so they were looking at uh, also adding more SRSs and more HTIs, as well as a DMR uh, semi-automatic uh, rifle. So unfortunately, COVID shut down the contract um, and nothing was ever awarded to anybody, but it was still a pretty cool gun. So with this DMR rifle, we really wanted to enhance the accuracy above what the MDRX platform was uh, providing. So we did a couple unique things. One of them was we uh, JB welded the barrel mount into the receiver to eliminate any kind of movement or play that could come loose during firing. We also took a 22 inch SRS 308 barrel and we turned it down and uh, put it inside of the, this chassis. So it's a heavy barrel, heavy fluted barrel. Uh, the profile is slightly smaller than what it is in the SRS, uh, just so that we could fit it in the smaller receiver, as well as uh, put the gas block on the barrel. So it's a pretty neat gun. We ended up prototyping two of these rifles and we sold one of them to one of our sales uh, staff that really liked it. So this is the last one that we have. And we have a pretty neat plan for this rifle. And if you guys want to uh, be in the loop of what our plans are for this gun, then sign up for our newsletter and we're gonna send an email blast out uh, pretty soon on what the plans are. So construction wise, this rifle is a standard MDRX chassis with an SRS uh, profiled barrel. We turned it down slightly to be able to, to fit the gas block on the barrel. We also uh, custom built this uh, long uh, DMR aluminum receiver that's very stiff and very sturdy. Um, it's, uh, I guess you could say, a generation one of what the, the Sabertooth handguard uh, ended up being. So this one's very slim line. It's got two sets of M-lock slots down the sides, a sling stud in the front, sling stud in the rear, as well as M-lock slots on the bottom and M-lock slots on the top uh, angle surfaces. So it's a pretty neat uh, setup. It's very transportable, even with the heavier profile barrel. This scene balances like right at the point of the trigger. So pretty much at the grip point, this scene's pretty, pretty mobile. But yeah, so this is cool. You know, one of the behind the scenes things that uh, people don't know that we did. Oh, this is also chambered in 308 Winchester. So it's a 40 eject 308 Winchester rifle. So again, sign up for the newsletter if you want to hear what we got planned for this. Thanks for watching.